it's Lee and I am back today with another Dollar Tree haul for you. I also have a bunch of pictures to show you at the end of items that I saw but I just don't need. First I grabbed three of these Sure Fresh Reusable or Rectangle Container and Lid. Uh, these are just over 13 and a half cups or 3.2 liters. I am actually using these to store my canning supplies like I have special salt and citric acid and um, lids one of them is going to be for lids because I'm storing all this stuff down in the basement I wanted to put it in something airtight so I grabbed three of those I also picked up four more of these cat bowls I got two purple a or like an aqua and a pink these are rubberized on the bottom so they don't skid across the floor. They're perfect for the cats, or the cat, we only have one in the house, the chihuahuas, and for the rats to put their vegetables and snacky foods in. I grabbed this Glad cling wrap. It's only 45 square feet, probably not the best deal, but we don't have any at all, so I just wanted to make sure we had some in the house. You can probably hear the neighbors mowing their lawn. Sorry about that. I got two packages of this Minute White Rice. I know that this is probably not the best deal, but we don't have anything like this on hand, and I just wanted, you know, just to have some quick rice on hand. Although I do have an electric pressure cooker that makes it pretty quickly as well, but I just grabbed two to stick in the pantry. I grabbed one Propel in Berry. They had watermelon and strawberry kiwi. This is my favorite of those three. So I picked up one. I'm going to actually drink it now. I also got two of the Gatorade Zero Sugar. And they are both in lemon and lime. Yeah, lemon and lime. Picked up two packs of the Hormel Pepperonis. Again, probably cheaper at Walmart, but I wasn't at Walmart. And if I'd gone into Walmart, I would have spent a lot more because I know myself. Then I found these Nature Garden, Nature's Garden Paleo Nut Mix. It says powered by plants, peanuts, cashews, almonds, walnuts, and hazelnuts. They also had a keto version, but if you flip it over here on the back, it says it's a product of India, Indonesia, Romania, Turkey, Vietnam, and the USA. The only reason I didn't buy the keto mix is that it said some of the products came from China. I know, I don't know if that should bother me or not, but it does. So I just picked up two of the paleo version. Then I found these, which I thought was a pretty good deal for a dollar. They're Keebler Toasted's Butter Crisp Lightly Toasted Crackers. And they look just like Ritz crackers. I'm pretty sure I've had these in the past, but for a dollar, I went ahead and picked those up. There are three sleeves in there, and it's 12 ounces. All right, next I went a little bit candy crazy, and this is not for me, this is for our daughter. As some of you may know, if you've been around for a while, she is headed to Ireland to go to school to get a doctorate, and there has been a lot of stress about that because of COVID and you know what that means for travel. And there was one huge obstacle that had to be overcome before she could go. And it was stressing us all out to the point where, I don't know, we just, it was crazy. Well, we got an email Monday night that that obstacle is now out of the way and she is definitely going to Ireland for school. She has her plane ticket, she has the date she's going, also, if you've been around for a while, you know that the Greyhound and the cat are hers. She was going to take them with her, but because of the pandemic, they're gonna have to stay with me for a little while. They are gonna go, but just not yet. So she's gonna stay in the school housing until I can go over and we can apartment hunt together. Anyway, so they are staying with me temporarily, but they will be going as soon as it is possible. So anyway, I picked up this candy. I'm actually pretty sad that I can't go with her. To go to Ireland, there's a mandatory 14-day quarantine. And while I could go with her, 
I would have to be quarantined for 14 days before I could do anything. You, you know, I couldn't even leave the hotel for 14 days. And that really, it's not worth the expense, you know, stay in a hotel in a foreign country for 14 days and I can't even leave. Yeah, no, I can't do that. Anyway, so I picked these up for her, the Passport Mix by Haribo. I thought this was very fitting since she is going to be using her passport and going on to another country. It's going to be so sad to see her go, but I know this is what she has always wanted. So there's a lot of candy here. I'm going to give it to her, but my thinking is that it can go in her bag so she has plain snacks. So I picked up these Black Forest Swirly Bears. I've gotten these before for her and she likes them. There are four ounces in here. There are four ounces in the Passport mix as well. So I got these for her. Then I had to pick up just regular Haribos for her. The Gold Bears, again, four ounces. Her favorite candy, or at least one of them, Twizzlers, just the regular, regular old red Twizzlers. So I grabbed those. Then I got the Twizzlers Pull and Peel for her. I'm gonna stick these over here. And lastly for her, Red Vines Twists. And these are limited edition pack. I'm not sure what that means. It's 5.5 ounces. I'm not sure what's limited edition about it, but it's limited edition. I see people haul these all the time and I've never bought them, but my son likes this kind of stuff, so I picked them up. I got one of the it is Victor Allen's Coffee Iced Mocha Latte, chilled coffee drink. I got one in the vanilla and one in the caramel. And now you can hear Ollie over there now. They also had a raspberry one that I did not pick up because I wasn't quite sure he'd like that one. Next, I got two of these Crafter Square Squeeze Bottle Applicators or Squeeze Applicator <laughs> Bottles for if I do any more bleach tie-dyeing. That's really why I picked them up. So I got two packs of those. And then, like I said, because my daughter's traveling, I picked up a variety of these little travel bottles. If she doesn't want to use them, it's fine. I can find a use for them. But I got this April Bath and Shower Shower Travel Kit. It's five piece. It has the two bottles, the like puff thing, a toothbrush cap, and this little container. I don't know. I don't know if she'll like this, but I'll hang on to it for whenever I travel if she doesn't want it. Then I got this three-piece travel bottle set also by April Bath and Shower. These are each 2.7 ounces or 80 mils. And these have the little flip caps. Whoops, I don't know if you can even see it. Let me do it this way. No, they just flip up. So then I found these by Day In Day Out. There are two travel bottles, but they, you can flip the top up and they're squeeze bottles. I don't know, she may not want any of these. And like I said, if not, I'll just keep them. I was pretty shocked to find this Home Bright disinfectant spray. It's in linens, linen scent and it says kills 99.9% .9 of germs. It's pretty much like Lysol spray. They had a limit of two, so I went ahead and got two of them. They also had the Dial hand soaps in Honeysuckle Dew and Peony Petals. These are the seasonal collection and they are seven and a half ounces each. And this, did I say limit of two? These are also a limit of two. So I just picked up one of each scent. This haul is from two different stores and I'm only saying that because in the first store I found this Sassy and Chic Moisturizing Foundation. If you watched Widow Mom, Chris over at Widow Mom Raising Two Sons, she swears by this stuff. Well, I can never find it in light, which is what I need because I have very pale skin. And I found they had two in light one, so I picked them up. And like I said, she loves this stuff. And if you haven't gone to her channel, look up Widowed Mom Raising Two Sons. Chris is awesome. Okay, so that was the first store. And then the second store, I found this Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Foundation with SPF 15. And they only had one in the cream ivory. So I went ahead and picked up neutral beige as well. Might be too dark, but if it is, I always can, you know, give it to someone. If this one 
works for me, then I know that will be too dark, so. And this says liquid foundation in a cushion compact, luminous, lightweight, and buildable hydrating formula. Contains natural coconut derivative, so there you go. I bought one of each just to, well, one of each color. I would have probably gotten two of the lighter one, but they didn't have it. Next, I found these socks that I'm just gonna give to my daughter that say, give me some space on the bottom. I have pictures of the other socks that were available and that will be at the end of this video so you can see those. I found the Kiss Gel Nail Polish in clear. In my last haul, I showed you the very pale pink that I got. Uh, they also had a darker pink, like a, like a bright pink and a hot pink and I can't remember the other color, but I didn't take a picture of that. Next, I found these ponytail holders and they are by, they're just distributed by Greenbrier. I like these, I have some in other colors and I love them. My hair is just past shoulder length and it's pretty fine, but if I wrap it up in one of these, it, it looks like I have a bigger bun. I don't know, it works for me. So I got the two colors they had available or the two color combinations. Then I found these Skunsi bobby pins that I think are just so pretty. They're pale pink. As you can see, they're just bobby pins. And I picked up two of those, and these are for me. I think those are so pretty. And then lastly, I found a few books. I did find another one of these, the dreamiest sticker book ever. It has 800 plus stickers and bonus postcards in there. I really like these, so I was glad I found one more of those. And then I found this book, Idiot's Guides, As Easy As It Gets, Zen Doodling. It says step-by-step -step lessons for drawing dozens of doodles, tips for creating black and white doodles or working with color. I forgot to tell you, this one was $19.99 US. Then I found this one. For my daughter, it's Freeform Crochet with Confidence. Unlock the secrets of freeform crochet with 30 fun projects. And this one was $18.99. And I just think it's kind of cool. I know she'll like it. Ooh, fingerless gloves. Anyway, I think she'll really like that one. And lastly, I found this super cute pin cushions. 35 adorable pin cushions all stitchers will love. I think this is so cool. I love all of these ideas in here. I already flipped through it and I can't wait to try to make a couple of these. And this was $19.95 in the US. So that's everything I actually picked up in store today. And now I'm gonna show you some pictures of items I saw in the store. They were really cool. I just don't need them. And then I'll meet you right back here. I hope you enjoyed those pictures and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also hit the little bell so you get notified every time I upload new videos. And you can also find me over on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and Facebook at Lee's Home 05. Thanks for watching. Bye.